What are materials? Materials are all around us. They are everything that we touch, use and interact with. Different materials have different properties, which makes them good for certain functions. But these materials aren't perfect and can fail. The performance of devices like solar panels depends on the properties of the material it's made of. These properties are decided by complex interactions on a much smaller scale. The atoms in our materials are arranged by their interactions with each other and their environment. If the atoms are arranged badly, then defects can form. These defects can grow bigger by complicated mechanisms and could turn into cracks which we can see by eye. These problems with our material means that our device will fail. To solve these problems and improve our materials, we first need to understand. We need to understand what is happening in our material from atoms all the way up to the device that we interact with. Once we understand, we can then design, changing the variety and arrangements of our atoms to design improved materials leading to better devices. Or we can discover trying to make completely new materials from scratch, which have the properties needed for our devices to work, like this plastic solar panel. How can we do all of this? We use mathematics to model how our material behaves, programming computers to solve these complex equations. But early computers were very slow, and could only handle calculations for a small number of atoms. As computing power increased, our simulations got faster and the number of atoms we could simulate increased, letting us understand our materials better than ever before. We now use supercomputers in our daily research. Introducing Thomas. With Thomas's help, we can understand, design and discover materials to solve the challenges we face, allowing us to use code for creation.